Welcome to the spoken tutorial on scope of variables in C and C++. In this tutorial, we will learn what is the scope of variables? What is a global variable? What is a local variable? A few examples. We will also see some common errors and their solutions. To record this tutorial, I'm using Ubuntu Operating System version 11.04, GCC and G++ compiler version 4.6.1. Let us start with an introduction to the scope of variables. It is the region of code within which the variable can be accessed. Depending on its type and place of declaration, it is divided into two categories global variable, and local variable. Now, we will see an example. I have already typed the program on the editor. Let me open it. Note that our file name is scope.c. Let me explain the code now. This is our header file. Here, we have declared two global variables. A and B. And we have initialized them by assigning values 5 and 2. A global variable is available to all functions in your program. These are declared outside any functions above main function. These have a global scope. Here we have declared a function add without arguments. Here, sum is a local variable. It is declared inside the function add. A local variable is available only to the function inside which it is declared. These variables are declared inside a block. These have local scope. Then sum of a and b will be stored in the variable sum. Here we print the sum. This is our main function. The add function is called and then executed. And this is our return statement. Now click on save. Let us execute the program. Please open the terminal window by pressing the Ctrl, Alt, and T keys simultaneously on your keyboard. To compile, type gcc space scope dot c space hyphen o space sco and press enter. To execute, type dot slash sco, press enter. The output is displayed as sum of a and b is 7. Now let us see how to execute the same program in C++. Come back to our program. First press the shift, control, and s key simultaneously on your keyboard. Now save the file with an extension .cpp and click on Save. Let us change the header file as iostream. Now include the using statement. Click on Save. The declaration of global variable and local variable is the same in C++, so no need to change anything. Now replace the printf statement with the cout statement. Delete the format specifier and backslash n. Now delete the comma. Type two opening angle brackets. Delete the closing bracket. Again type two opening angle brackets. And within the double quotes, type backslash n. Now click on save. Let us execute the program. Come back to our terminal. To compile, type g++ space scope dot cpp space hyphen o space sco1. Here we have sco1 because we don't want to overwrite output parameters SEO for the file scope.c.
Now press Enter. To execute, type dot slash SCO1 and press Enter. The output is displayed as sum of A and B is 7. We can see that it is similar to our C code. Now we will see some common errors which we can come across. Come back to our program. Suppose here I declare a variable A again. Type int A and a semicolon. Click on Save. We have declared the variable A above the main function and after the add function. Let us see what happens. Come back to our terminal. Now compile as before. We see errors. Redefinition of int A, int A previously defined here. Come back to our program. A is a global variable. It has a global scope. We cannot declare the variable twice, as it is already declared globally. We can only declare variable A as a local variable. Let us fix error. Delete this. Click on Save. Let us execute again. Come back to our terminal. Now compile as before, execute as before. Yes, it is working. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned scope of variable, global variable, e.g. int a equals 5, and local variable, e.g. int sum. As an assignment, write a program to print the difference of two numbers. Watch the video available at the link shown below. It summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials and gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT-MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown below. This is John Bonet from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for watching.